Four Rockingham County school students were hurt yesterday in a bad crash in Reedsville. A viewer sent us these photos about right after the crash occurred. You can see the mangled and twisted metal from both vehicles. It was so bad one of the students had to be flown to a hospital. WFMY News 2's Daniel Cruz is live near the crash scene with an update. Hey Daniel. Chad, the good news is those students are expected to be OK. That's according to the school district. That accident happened around 1.30 yesterday afternoon, just behind us here along a very busy stretch of freeway drive. Tonight, the Reedsville Police Department is preaching a message that they have for years now. Slow down. 6,000. That's how many cars travel freeway drive each day, according to the North Carolina DOT. For years, Reedsville police have worked to slow drivers down. We've been doing uh, speed enforcement with the highway patrol. Uh, we'll continue doing those. This is what officers are hoping to prevent. Speed contributed to this crash yesterday afternoon that sent five people in total to the hospital. Four are students at Reedsville High School. According to a statement from the school district, those students are expected to be OK. In November, another accident killed one person and injured three others. Yeah, those accidents are very unfortunate, and uh, we just need to, drivers need to just be careful of their speeds and uh, where they're going, their, their surroundings, and just, just take your time. Definitely lots of speeding, um, crazy wrecks and stuff. Rose Bennett works at the freeway drive Domino's Pizza. She says her drivers complain about others speeding up and down this busy road, especially at night. Even with the additional enforcement, she says everyone needs to pay more attention. Yeah, slow down, just, you know, pay attention, make sure your lights are on. <laughs> See a lot of people come down the freeway without their lights on, so, you know, just be careful. 410 citations were issued for various offenses along freeway drive last year. Sergeant Kirk Wade says the police department will be installing devices to help conduct speed surveys, which will give them a better idea of where and when to increase patrols. We've got an instrument that we put out there that gives us that data that uh, tells us when people are speeding, times, uh, how fast they're going, um, and so we can put officers out there at the right time. Yesterday's crash is still under investigation, but police tell us that both parties were cited. Live in Reedsville, Daniel Cruz, WFMY News 2.